Hi guys, Tops here from Just One For All. Today I'm going to show you how to make this onion bhaji. The easiest, simplest, fluffy, delicious, very quick to make and dead easy. Very few ingredients. Onion bhaji. For the onion bhaji we need my mixed spices. See the link below. Salt, one teaspoon. Two medium onion. One egg optional. If you're vegan, you can leave the egg out and just add warm water. Generous portion of coriander. 2 to 3 chilies depending on how hot you like it 1 tablespoon of flour can be self raising or plain not a problem and 150 to 200 grams of gram flour which is made by chickpeas I'm gonna finely chop the chili coriander and obviously peel and finely chop the onions mix it all up and then just deep fry 2 medium onions Two to three chilies, seeds if you can handle the heat, you can de-seed them if you want. General portion of coriander, finely chopped. Onions, medium guys. If I said uh, finely chopped before, my mistake. Approximately one teaspoon salt. Give you a good mix. Smells delicious. Nice. Add the flour. One tablespoon. 150 grams to 200 grams of gram flour. Add that. Crack the egg in. If you're vegan, leave the egg out. Just add medium water. Uh, medium warm temperature water. One teaspoon, heap teaspoon of our mixed spices. If you like it spicy, have a bit more. It's a bit dry. Add a little water. So that was about one tablespoon. Warm water. See how I'm giving it a squeeze. Another teaspoon. Tablespoon. That's it. It's ready guys. I'll keep mixing it to get a more even consistency. You can use a wooden spoon, but it'll take a bit longer, guys. You can add dry spices, not a problem but I prefer these nice and simple. In a medium frying pan, cooking oil, vegetable or sunflower, I'm using sunflower. Try not to use olive oil, it changes the taste. So I've got a few of these containers to empty. So you want to fill it up about halfway. Let the oil warm up. The way to check, just place your hand over, don't touch the oil, and you can feel the heat rising when it's ready. Okay, our oil is ready, nice and hot. Now I've lowered the temperature down to a medium heat. To scoop the onion bhajis out there, I'm gonna use a tablespoon and this knife. To drain it, you need something like this, spoon with holes. So let the oil drain. So let's start frying guys. If you want it nice and small, party bite size, just do smaller portions.
The reason you want to go for a low heat, guys, to a medium, so you don't want too much splatter. So the first few are cooking quite quickly, the others will come in and lower the temperature. This is the tastiest, quickest onion bhaji recipe I know. And I've been doing this for years. It's already starting to cook. Maybe my oil was a bit too hot. But not a problem. I can easily get about 12 in here. So keep an eye on them. They start to go golden brown. Turn them over. Colour is the main thing guys, you can tell by the colour how much is cooked. So see that one there was the first one I put in, so turn that one over like that. These are coming quite close behind. After you make the first batch, just check your salt level. Also on a draining plate I've got kitchen tissue ready to get the excess oil off. So it's just keep adding, watching, turning, there we are, these two are done, that one, and that one, now the low oil temperature is starting to go down. When it's cooled down, check the cooking salt level. Nice. Could be a bit spicier for me, but it's it's still nice. Mm. 